back for that ass. Bloody Machete 69, he's got Killer Trivia harder for that ass. I'm going to hold it off till next week so I can have my partner with me and kind of help me out on that. So we'll get to you next week. All right, Ministry of Darkness 85. Killer questions. Guys, I'm sure you missed my questions. I sent them on the 14th of October. If you'd answer them, then sorry. And I'll have to rewatch the killer questions. But again, I'm sure you didn't get to mine. I've recopied the message and sent just in case they got messed up. Okay. Here's you guys. Here you, here you go, guys. Been a long time, but I'm getting some in there. In Danielle Harris. Yeah, let's go with that props. All right, here we go. The horror genre seems to be filled with slasher, zombie, aliens, cannibals, exploitation, torture, porn, thriller. Anything that has blood seems to get labeled as horror. The question is, what is your definition of the horror genre? That's a great question. Um, my definition of horror is pretty, pretty simple. Stalk and slash. Anything that puts people in a traumatic life-threatening situation um, that is personal, not like war movies, because, you know, war movies, of course you're in a life-threatening situation getting shot at and everything like that, but something, uh, horror is like an intimate struggle to survive, if you will. And it has the good guy and it has the bad guy. And um, so aliens, I would throw that out as sci-fi. Even though, I agree, like, um, when Alien first came out, they called that horror more than sci-fi. Because it was it kind of had, like, a stalking element to it. But I would throw Aliens out. Zombies, slashers, cannibals, exploitation, torture, um, those would stay in horror. Thriller, I would put that in suspense or drama. But anything that has a lot of blood, um... Uh, a small group or a single killer stuff like that so there we go night of the living dead origins what is your answer to it being animated so we are only going to get to hear daniel's harris <laughs> get to hear daniel harris's voice and none of that body i agree with you i agree um it being animated i mean it's cool it's something new um it's a gamble i don't know if it's going to work but you know, hearing Danielle Harris's voice, uh, that's that's nothing to be uh, downplayed. You know what I'm saying? What would you do if you was given a dollar? Well, in these times, I'll pretty much do anything for a buck. Almost anything. Okay. Kiss, marry, sleep with. I like how you're political with that. Uh, Pixar, Danielle Harris. May Young. Are you talking about the old wrestler, Mae Young? And Justin Bieber. Yep, this one is totally sick, guys. What is everyone that the Justin thing? Okay. Um, sleep with Danielle. Um, I'm going to be too busy sleeping with Danielle to do anything to either of the other ones. <laughs> I, I went around it, didn't I? No, let me be fair. You asked the question, I gotta answer it. Ugh. Well, wait, because marrying means I get to sleep with all the time. So I'm gonna marry Danielle. I'm gonna sleep with Mae Young. And I'm gonna kiss Justin Bieber with my fist. There you go. You didn't say kiss with what? <laughs> I don't know. Ugh. Why you gotta put a dude in there? That's just... Nothing wrong with it, but... Ugh. Alright, there's two armies. Team 1 is every horror villain ever created. Versus Team 2, which is Jamie and Zero and one other person of your choosing. There are only four weapons, one of each, that help you. Machete, flamethrower, feather duster, and a shoe. Which weapon does each person on your team have, and what is the outcome of this battle? Well, I'll take the machete. Jamie will get the flamethrower. I'll have my... Who's, who's the other person on my team? The other person on my team, if it's dead and I get to pick him, I'm going with Bruce Lee. And I'm going to give him the feather duster and the shoe. Because I'm pretty sure he'll be deadly with it anyway. If it's someone who's alive, then I'm going to go 
with Donnie Yen, and I'm giving the feather duster in his shoe, because I've seen what he can do with an umbrella, and the man is brutal. Outcome of this battle is my team two loses. Because he ain't taking out any of the horror icons with any of those weapons. So thanks for the bizarre yet interesting questions from the Ministry of Darkness. All right. Next one comes from Intron 475. Still pimping the Wicked Jericho icon there. All right. What up, killers? 20 days plus deep in my Halloween slashathon. Watching at least one or more horror movies a day till Halloween. Again, hope you have a killer Halloween. Same to you, and I'm pretty much there too. I've been doubling at least two a day. At least. Have you guys seen the fan film Freddy vs. Ghostbusters? If not, worth a watch. If so, what do you think? Send me the link to that. I'll check that out. Because I, I haven't seen that. But if you got a link for it, you can send it. Just put uh, Freddy vs. Ghostbusters for that ass and have me the link, and I will definitely check it out. Who is the best crazy old man who says you're doomed or don't go down that road? Man, Ralph, dude. There is no better. Favorite hardcore wrestlers? Hmm. Well, of course Mick Foley. That's obvious. Um, 3D. The Dudley Boys. Yeah, I'd go with that. Favorite and least favorite monsters or creatures? Well, we'll just do one of each. Uh, my favorite creature is obviously Creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, hmm. Favorite monster would be Godzilla. And least favorite creature would be... You know, I really don't know. What creature just... Maybe the Jeeper Creeper creature, but I don't know, that's more of a demon. Hmm. I don't know on that one. I just have my favorites, and I don't even think about my least favorites, so... You stumped me on that one, man. But again, uh, El Entron... Send me the link for that, and I'll check out that Ghostbusters vs. Freddy, because that just sounds cool. All right, we got WSP60, killer questions for that ass. I was wondering what you guys' thought thoughts were on Dark Lotus. I think it kicks ass. Violent J or Too Dope? Uh, the first Dark Lotus was bad. Oh, it was so bad. The one with Mars and everything on it. We've been bumping that at work. And uh, Too Dope for me. Because that's my, that's my best friend's cousin. So go with that. If you guys had to pick what's your favorite remake. Excluding Zombies Halloween or H2. Hmm. I'm going to say Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Those were pretty decent. Of course it was an easy formula that you couldn't really fuck up. So, But yeah. I, I mean Texas Chainsaw Massacres were, 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 they were pretty good remakes. They didn't stray too far off the story, and they didn't, like, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It was pretty good. Chosen Studios! What do you think your life would be like right now if you had never met each other and never seen a horror film? Well, Horror from the Grave wouldn't exist, that's for sure. And uh, if I'd never seen a horror film, I don't know, I probably would have went through college, graduated, been some, uh computer programmer making millions of money and um, you know had a wife that was only with me for my money and everything like that so it'd be pretty shitty <laughs> I'm glad I got horror because I, I wouldn't trade horror for a second favorite nightmare on Elm Street scene it's a two way tie on that uh, when Johnny Depp buys it and when Robert England says this is God and holds up the glove that's iconic. If you had to write Evil Dead 4, what would you have happen? I think I would end the series. I think that's what I would do. I would have it... I would pretty much ignore Army of Darkness. And I would go with Evil Dead 1 and 2. Pick it up from there with Evil Dead 4. 
and just try to close it out, get that cabin destroyed or or something. I don't know. Christopher Walken versus Steve Buscemi. Christopher Walken. Come on. You don't bet against Chris at all. Steve Buscemi, he's a nice guy. But I'll take him down. Quick. Favorite horror quotes. Anything Dr. Loomis has said in the Halloween films. Hands down. The best quotes. The way, he, especially Halloween 78 and uh, Halloween 2. So, yeah. P.S. Still waiting on you guys to make your own D.O.P. burgers. That's the Duke of Puke burgers. We're going to have it happen. We're going to do it. I'll tell you what. We'll make sure next week when Jamie's back, I will make sure. I will write it down, and it'll happen. We'll get patties from Burger King and Dairy Queen and make Duke of Puke burgers. It's going to be funny because I'm going to add stuff that I didn't, I didn't even say. So... Chosen Studios, great questions, man. Hope that helped you out and everything. This one is from the Horror Lover uh, 1000. Zero, you and Jamie wake up in a creepy, demented asylum with 20 dead bodies laying on the floor. Did we do it? <laughs> and you hear something demented laughing. It's three Wendigo monsters that run 490 miles an hour. On your right, you see two flare guns and six flares. Fire is the only thing that kills them. Now you see them outside running around the asylum and you see three big propane tanks. Now you see three cars, one starts, the other two don't. Uh, you got a 67 Chevy Impala black on black with Metallica, the black album, a 67 Camaro SS red on black Poisons look with the Cat Dragged In album. And a 1969 Dodge Charger, green and white, and Disturbed the Asylum album. In one of the trunks has two M16 assault rifles with grenade launchers with 40 clips and 66 grenades. Two Desert Eagle 50 cal with six clips. Okay, so what we're supposed to do here. Now here's going to be the tricky thing. They can run 490 miles an hour. That's going to be a hell of a lead. We got two flare guns. We got three big propane tanks. Just try to time it and shoot the propane tanks. Which car do we pick? I'm going to go with the disturbed asylum one because we're in an asylum. So I'm picking the 1969 Dodge Charger and we're going to find out what happens next week. Oh, cool. I love the suspense. Making me wait a week to see what happens. Alright, RBR Short Films 13. Got a little bit of time. We'll see how we can do this. Zero, how does it feel that Jamie's gone and you have to do the show alone? It is awkward. I am missing Haddonfield's homeboy at this point, And I'm realizing that this show just won't be what it has become without him. And that's in all honesty and sincerity that... uh. Yeah. It, it's it's way harder doing it alone. Zero, have you ever had a threesome? Pfft, of course. Many, many a time. Zero, after rising out of the sunset with your kids and Danielle, you grab your wife's body out of the trunk of your car and throw it into a lake. After that, your new family celebrated at a hotel and you have a blast. Suddenly, someone with a pig mask knocks you out. You wake up chained into a chair in a dark room and it's Jigsaw with his... his <laughs> sucking on a cock voice. If you don't know why I keep saying that, Jamie said he had a cock voice in the earlier episode. Oh, okay. Anyway, he says that you have to cut off your nipple to get the key to unlock your chains. After that, there are two doors. One of them has Danielle with Jason Voorhees, Freddy, and Michael Myers. The other one has your kids with Chrome Skull, Victor Crowley, Dracula, Candyman, Chucky, and Leprechaun. You have a Desert Eagle with five bullets and two grenades. Make your choice... Save your kids or Danielle. What do you do? Welp. I gotta go for the kids, man. That's all there is to it. So, yep. Save the kids. And we'll see you guys. We got one more to go.